Hey everybody, this is just a quick update, a kind of brief overview of the updates I've made to my DSLR scanning rig. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and dive right on in. I'll show you the copy stand, light source, and everything that I'm using to hold the film flat, and a little bit of the process of how I go about digitizing all my negatives and slides. So yeah, let's dive right on in. So I'm using a Bogan TC1 copy stand because it was one I was able to get for very cheap. And I've got a 12 by 12 inch hole I cut in it and mounted a diffusion surface over the top of it. Mounted to this is a Canon 5DSR, which is a 50 megapixel DSLR that has no anti-aliasing filter. And I use the 100 millimeter f2.8 USM lens because it's a flat field focused lens using the negative supply carrier and 35 MD advancing unit for that. And uh, as you can see here, I'm able to feed in the film and it really kind of goes through it fairly quickly because it manually advances and it also triggers my camera. It has a little knob for fine tuning the placement of the negative, which is really nice. And I've found it to be a useful tool. Another really useful tool is using this electronic level to make sure that my camera and my film carrier are exactly parallel to each other. Mounted underneath the desk I've got a Paul C. Buff Einstein strobe and I use the Cyber Commander uh, or Cyber Sense I think it's called to control the output of it and I put a little diffusion material over the flash which helps a lot with evenness I also use the Negative Supply 120 carrier. It works really well, holds the film nice and flat, so I've been using that for a while. Probably one of the better options out there for 120, but there's a number of ways to do it, so I will say that. I use a piece of A&R glass and just recently started wet mounting my 4x5 negatives, so that's been uh, one major advancement. And I use an air compressor and desiccant filter in the line of the air compressor in order to uh, keep the negatives, you know, as dust free as I can get them. I run the camera into EOS Utility and this program works really, really well to help me digitize all the film. Uh, one important thing to mention is that you want to set your white balance to the warmest option that's on there for negative film. So 2500 Kelvin is the option that I've got. And then I white balance off the film border once I get it into either Lightroom or Camera Raw and into Photoshop. Be sure to check out my two videos after this. One going over how to invert your film using Negative Lab Pro and Lightroom and the other one how to manually invert and edit your images using Photoshop. All right, so I, I really recommend that everybody do a little bit of testing from home and work with maybe some negatives that you're familiar with and try to create a workflow that works for you because while this works for me, everybody's setup is going to be a little bit different. So, you know, you may have a little bit different experience at home depending on the diffusion material you use, the light source you use, the lens you use. One thing I will mention though is that it's really important to be using a macro lens because macro lens is flat field in its focus instead of having field curvature. So just using a regular 50 millimeter lens or 100 millimeter lens and an extension tube isn't going to work because uh, the edges of the film are never going to be in focus with the center. And so do a little bit of research on why macro lenses are important for this and what flat field focus actually means. So even if you use an old, uh, like a Nikkor uh, micro lens, I believe they call them, uh, or just, you know, any, any macro lens, oh, it's noon, any macro lens that you want to use, that's a good way to go. Um, I don't recommend using just a regular lens and an extension tube. So yeah, uh, explore, find the options that work for you. And there is kind of no right or wrong within the arts, but uh, the one important key thing here is even illumination of the negative and having a flat uh, field of focus. So, or plane of focus or, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for tuning in, take care.